the real history of Thanksgiving. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And um, it's been a while since I've done a video on this, but um, I thought I, I'd do another video on it anyways. You know, because a lot of our people out there, they celebrate Thanksgiving out of ignorance. You know, some of them are willingly ignorant. Some of them know what the some of them know the true history of Thanksgiving, but they still choose to celebrate it any anyways. Because you know it's it's Esau Edom's you know holiday and shit. <coughs> Excuse me, close out this video. It's starting to get on my nerves. You know. But if you're an Israelite, which the Israelites are are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. Okay, so if you're an Israelite, you you should not be celebrating Thanksgiving. And a matter of fact, just real quick, um, you know, what, let me drag this over here. Cause I, I'm used to this being over here on the right side. Um, Jeremiah, just real quick, um, okay, Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse one. So this is Jeremiah chapter ten, verse one. It says. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Verse 2. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Learn not the way of the heathen. Because, don't get me wrong, Thanksgiving is in the Holy Scriptures. But, 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 the, the, the uh, Thanksgiving in the Holy Scriptures it's not the same as Esau's Thanksgiving. Okay, because Esau's Thanksgiving is all about the, the, the celebration of when the conquistadors, the Spaniards, you know, Chris, Christopher Columbus, that, that, that punk ass dude. Okay, when, when he came over here with the conquistadors and the Spaniards, basically after they have um, slaughtered our people, after they have slaughtered the so-called natives of this land, no, they, they they basically would, would celebrate. They 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 would um. You know they they they've cannibalized some of our people even during Thanksgiving. You know where um the the stuffing is supposed to represent the brain matter. The cranberry sauce is supposed to represent the blood and guts. Of the so-called natives of this land. Now, when I say the so-called natives of this land. I'm talking about the so-called North American Indians from the tribe of Gad. I'm talking about the Taino Indians, which are the Puerto Ricans from the tribe of Ephraim. The Aztec Indians, which are the Mexicans from the tribe of Ishakar. The so-called um, Reubenite Indians. Um, the um, the uh, Seminole Indians from the tribe of Reuben. You see, Thanksgiving is all about the celebration of, of the slaughter of those people. And when I say slaughter, that's the true Holocaust. Okay, millions of our people were murdered on this land. By, by these conquistadors, by these Spaniards, by these English Dutch mercenaries. And after they have, you know, killed off a lot of our people... A lot of our people was cannibalized on Thanksgiving, you know. They 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 basically stole our turkeys, cooked it, ate it. You know, they 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 made stuffing out of our um out of our food. You know. So if you are Israelite, you're not supposed to celebrate Thanksgiving. If you're a so-called native, uh, if you're a so-called native of this land. You ain't you definitely ain't got no business celebrating Thanksgiving. You you just a you 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 must be a real wetback if you if you celebrating Thanksgiving and you're a so-called 
a native Indian or, or a native of this land. You gotta be a real asshole to, to, to celebrate Thanksgiving. But um, this is this this website right here pretty much goes into detail. You know, going into the history of Thanksgiving, right? It says the real history of Thanksgiving isn't the one you learned in school, <laughs> right? Because in school, you know, they, they they tell you that Thanksgiving is all about when 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 the when when the pilgrims came over here to the land, and you know, basically the the natives of the land basically shook their hands and they both sat down and ate together. Nah, nah, man, that that's all a bunch of bullshit. Okay, Thanksgiving is about the slaughter of the so-called natives of this land. Okay, most Americans are taught the same story about Thanksgiving that pilgrims sat together with the natives, Native Americans, to share a meal and thank them for helping them with a successful uh, first harvest. You know, now there, there's a saying, right? The, um, who, um, whoever the conqueror is, is the one that, that gets to rewrite history. And that's pretty much what these motherfuckers did, you know. They pretty much after they conquered us, you know, they 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 basically wrote wrote a false report in, in in their textbooks and schools and shit. But that story has been proven to be riddled with mistruths. While you may know that on some level, what's not often discussed discussed is the truth about the holiday's history and the effect. Uh, it, it has on many Native Americans. Okay. It says, so consider this. It says, and uh, just that, an update history lesson. Learn why some people choose not to celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate it. Fuck Thanksgiving. And how you can support Native people during the holiday season and beyond. And well, scriptures say that his hands shall seek to please the poor. It's in the book of Job. It says you probably have some vague idea that thanks that the Thanksgiving holiday is not quite the, the rosy picture you read about in school. But the real origins of the holiday are not clear cut either. We'll give you the best glimpse at what we know. But note, there is a lot of information to digest about this issue. You know, and few supposed origins of the holiday are uh, uh, some of them conflicting. This is most commonly uh, researched and reported. Did you hear that? He said researched. So this 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 is this this is all based on research. So whoever whoever wrote this was was diligent. But um, it says according to the New York Times, the Mayflower did did in fact bring settlers from England to land which they colonized because that, that that's what these Edomites do you know they, they, they like to go to different lands you know kill off the people and then colonize that land you know that they're, they're a bunch of colonizers it says they colonized and renamed Plymouth M.A. Well, the scriptures say they, they call their lands after their own names. It says, in 1621, those pilgrims did hold a three-day feast, which they attended by members of the Wampanoag tribe. The, the Wampanoag tribe, that's one of the uh, North American tribes. It says, however, typically when these settlers uh, had what they referred to as Thanksgiving, Observing since they actually fasted. Did you hear that? They actually fasted. So this feast and celebration was known as rejoicing, which goes to show you that that the, the so-called natives of this land are Israelites. That further proves that the so-called Latinos and Native Indians are Israelites. You see, because Thanksgiving is in the scriptures. It says. It, it was known as rejoicing according to the uh, New Yorker it says with that in mind this meal actually being viewed as the first Thanksgiving is up for debate with experts though there might be though there might have been turkey or some other type of poultry served there was no pie or mashed potatoes as we have today they would have probably had seafood 
as well as one Panoak dish called a uh, nasump porridge made of cornmeal with the settlers had adopted. Okay, as the uh, Smith O'Neill points out, if I'm saying that correctly, discussions of this event are often centered around the settlers, but Native Americans have been on the have been on the land for centuries before. You see that? So this land belongs to the so-called natives, the the uh, so-called Puerto Ricans, the uh, Seminole Indians the um, Mexicans, the so-called North American Indians, this land belongs to them. And the story from their perspective obviously far predates this feast when Europeans began coming to what is known as the United States, which this land was not called the United States. But it says, about four years before the Mayflower arrived, they carried foreign illnesses which killed the native people at extremely high rates you see that shit it says that then made it easier for colonizers to take over these lands there's also the fact that settlers came to the land to kidnap and sell Native Americans into slavery which proves that 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 which proves that the, the first slaves were, were, were the actual natives of this land okay those those those, those were your first slaves right there The newly settled Europeans, which are Edomites, they're not European, okay? The newly settled Europeans also did not invite the Native Americans to their feasts. Why? Because their feasts was all about the slaughter of the natives of that land. That's why they did not invite the natives to their feasts, okay? Osamequin, leader of the Wampanoag tribe had declared an alliance with the settlers. One scripture that comes to mind when I read that is Psalms. But before I get that, let's get Sirach. There's a reason why the Lord told us not to trust these hairy ass bastards. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. The reason why our people made an alliance with, with these crackers is because they, 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 they trust their enemies. Okay? They, they, they trusted their enemies. So you're not supposed to trust these devils. You see what happens when, when, when you made an alliance with them, right? Let's... um. Let's get um, the book of Psalms, chapter 50, um, 50, or is it 55? Is it 55, verse 20? Let's, 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 let's do 55, verse 20, see what comes up here. Okay, the Wadi Yahweh, the Wadi Yahweh Shai, beautiful. Psalms 55, verse 20. He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him, right? That's why they came over here with all those foreign illnesses, which killed off a lot of our people. They gave, they gave our people blankets laced with smallpox. They gave our people chickenpox. They gave our people lice, tuberculosis. You know, um, typhoid and typhus, which are whooping coughs that makes it hard for you to catch your breath. So you eventually run out of breath and die. Okay that they plagued our people with a uh, scarlatina which which gives you a, a, a really high fever you know you, you you get the sweats the chills so he had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them because the natives of this land were at peace with these devils he had broken his covenant what's in a what's a covenant that that that's a um a alliance he had broken his alliance you see okay the words of his mouth were smoother than butter motherfuckers came over here talking about how's it going my my friend from humble beginnings meanwhile you, you got these natives hugging these fucking devils you know showing them how to live off the land giving them berries and teaching them how to use herbs and shit 
So, 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 the words of these devils were smoother than butter. So, man, hey, man, the, the scriptures say that an, an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips. Uh, let me see if I can. Um, what, um, an enemy speaking. I forgot what scripture that is, but not to worry, though. I can get it right here, right now. Just type in Bible. Okay. And an enemy speaketh sweetly with I'm pretty sure that's Sharak the twelfth chapter, but we just have to wait and see. Yup. It is Sharak the twelfth chapter. Sharak the twelfth chapter, also known as Ecclesiasticus, the twelfth chapter, chapter twelve. Verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. You know, they, they'll come over here, you know. You know, the, you, you, you got to watch these devils, man. You know. You know, they, 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 they came over here, you know. They was probably like, thank you, my friend. But inwardly, they were premeditating on how to murder these people. Hey, you guys are so sweet. Oh, we love you so much here. Let me, let me give you this blanket. Meanwhile, the blanket's got fucking all kind of viruses and diseases on it. So, so an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips. But in his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. A pit is a representation of a trap. These motherfuckers have been plotting how to trap us. Okay. It says he will weep with his eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Right? And he'll weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. <laughs> and that's why like it tells you in um Ezekiel the 35th chapter, Sith thou has not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So blood is gonna pursue thee, these these um these Edomites. Okay. Okay, so 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 the Lord said, never trust thine enemy. So it says awesome make Quinn leader of the Wampanoag tribe had declared an alliance with the settlers and the members of the tribe were showing up to honor a mutual defense pact. They'd heard the pilgrims shooting their guns in celebration you know, and, and thought they were in combat. After some talk, they decided to spend three days together and join the feast. Okay, so like this this ad is annoying. It says, but this type of coming together did not become a warm, fuzzy tradition as you may have been taught in school, right? Let's bring out that information. From then on, pilgrims celebrated Thanksgivings in their traditional way. You see that? So 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 this this modern day uh, Thanksgiving, th this is Esau's traditional way of, of keeping the shit. This, this is his way, which, which is all wicked, because Thanksgiving is all about the slaughter of the natives of this land. It says, from then on, pilgrims celebrated Thanksgiving in their traditional way of fasting and praying. According to the New Yorker, several times this happened because of the massacres. You see that? Let's read that again. Okay, it says several times this happened because of the massacres of the, of the native native people. So, so Thanksgiving is all about the massacre of the natives of this land, including in 1637 when Massachusetts Colony Governor John Winthrop declared a day of Thanksgiving after volunteers murdered 700 Pequot people. 
Man, you you hear that, man? <laughs> this, this is what Thanksgiving is truly about. This, this is what Thanksgiving is truly about. You see that? He issued a day of Thanksgiving after volunteers murdered 700 natives of this land. So if you're an Israelite, why the fuck is you celebrating Thanksgiving? And then on top of that, you, you over here cooking chitlins. Okay? You're not supposed to eat pork. That's why whenever you cook chitlins, your whole house smell like shit. Because, well, look at what you're eating. Pig intestines. That's why your whole house smell like shit. When, when, whenever you cook them out, oh man. I used to have it real bad when I was a child because my mom, she would, uh, <laughs> she would cook chitlins, man. And let me tell you something. She would have the whole house smell like shit, man. And then what made it worse was she used to put onions inside the chitlins. So not only, not only did the whole house smell like shit, but the air used to have my eyes watery from, from her putting all those onions in that shit. <laughs> like, like, good lord. Man. Please. <laughs> like, no. No, man. You, you don't eat that. You don't eat that. <sighs> so let's see. Let me see. So it says um, here in 1637 when Massachusetts colony governor John Winthrop declared a thanks of uh, a day of Thanksgiving, right? In 1637 when Massachusetts colony governor uh, John Winthrop uh, declared a day of Thanksgiving after volunteers murdered 700 Pequot people. This is this is what Thanksgiving is really about. It's all about the slaughter, the, the, the murderings uh, of the natives of this land. This incident, which another word for incident is situation, this situation is also often cited as the first official mention of Thanksgiving ceremony and is another commonly cited origin story for the Thanksgiving we know today. Various dates of the modern day Thanksgiving holiday have been declared since since then Okay, and were celebrated by individual states But it wasn't until 1863 when president uh, um, This uh, small hat Abraham Lincoln Declared the last Thursday in November as a day of Thanksgiving and the holiday as we know it stuck So there you go there you go. There's what more do I need to read, man? Okay, you're not supposed to celebrate Esau's Thanksgiving. You're going way off if you do that. Now let's let's go back to let me see, let me see, verse ten. Let's go let's go back to verse ten. Okay, so um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 verse 10 Never trust thine enemy For like as iron rusteth So is his wickedness Though he humble himself Right, they, they came over here bowing down You know and, and go crouching Yet take good heed And beware of him And thou shalt be unto him As if Thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So you're going to know that this man is full of shit. You'll be able to see through this devil like, like he's glass. Okay. Verse 12. Let's, let's, um, let's enlarge this. Let's get all this juicy meat off the bones that the Lord's elect might be fed. May be fed. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 12 Set him not by thee Right In other words Don't let this motherfucker come into your land Talking about Shut him on my friend Cause these, these motherfuckers are not your friends They're your enemy 
Okay, we've been the enemy of these Edomites since we've been in the womb of Rebecca. Set him not by thee. Don't let him come into your land because then he's going to start plotting on, on, on how to overtake your land. And then he's going to colonize your land. So set him not by thee, lest when thou has or lest when he have overthrown thee, that's what he did to the so-called natives of this land. He he overthrew our people. And the ones that still remained, he put them into slavery. So set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. Which that seat is a representation of a country. Okay. Let, lest he take your country. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. You see that? <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, a... Hey, our people wanted to be a bunch of charmers, so guess what? They got bitten. They got bitten by the serpent. Ecclesiasticus, which which that serpent is talking about the so-called white man. The Edomites. It says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Who's gonna pity a charmer? You know, you you over here playing with the serpent and shit. You know, this snake is like you know, like, like, dude, I, I'm, I'm about to bite this motherfucker. I'm injecting with my poison. That's what he did to the natives of this land. You got bitten by, by the serpent, and you've been poisoned. Literally. Diseases, scarlatina, typhoid. You got plagued to trust in this devil. Now, now look. Who, who's ruling America today? The so-called white man. A goddamn colonizer. So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Okay. Hey, Esau did not pity you. So so why the hell is you pitying this devil for? Okay. It says, for a while, for it says, for a while he will abide with thee. That's what he did, right? Well, when Christopher Columbus came over here with the conquistadors, with the Spaniards and the English Dutch mercenaries, they, yeah, you know, they, 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 they was pretty much chilling with our people, uh, observing our people's customs, and you know, they, they, they was learning from our people how to, you know, how to live off the earth, how to live off of um, herbs and medicines. You see. So, 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 yeah, they, for a while, they did abide with us, but inwardly, they was plotting how, how, how to murder our people and make this land the new world. So, for a while, he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. <laughs> Man, never trust thine enemy. Right? I've read this earlier, but let's read it again. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his mind he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Of course he's not going to be satisfied with blood, because he's the devil, man. Scriptures say, uh, he, um, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5, He enlargeth his desire as hell, and he is as death. And cannot be satisfied. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Bam. Because the Arabs, they, they, they did not come over here and kill off our people and then colonize the land. The Chinese people did not do it. You know, it was not the Japanese people. It was not um, the Africans. It was not the, um, the Hawaiians or, or the Samoans. It was not the East Indians. It was the so-called white man. You shall find him there first. Every time there's some kind of mischief going on in the world, you better best believe he gonna be he gonna be at, at, at the um the front lines of that. 
And though he pretend to help thee, you see that? That's that's what they did when they came over here, right? Um, when 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 um, when, when these colonizers, these Spaniards and conquistadors, you know, when they came over here with Christopher Columbus, you know, they 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 was pretending to help our people. They gave our people. They would come over here with with different kinds of presents, but it was all just a trap. Okay. It was giving our people um, blankets, sheets, pillows, but they all were laced with diseases intended to kill our people. Some of our people even died in their sleep, sleeping underneath these blankets and sleeping on these pillows. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yet shall he, yet shall he undermine thee. So he, he will only pretend to help you. He's not sincere about it, though. If, 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 if he calls himself trying to help you, you better best believe he has an alternative agenda. There's an alternative agenda behind him, you know, calling himself trying to help you. It says, he will shake his head. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm for you, bro. You know, he'll shake his head, right, and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Because that's what the devil do. That's why he's called the devil. Which when you look up the word devil, it goes back to the Greek word diabolus, which means pertaining to a man by whom opposing the will of Yahweh. And that devil is talking about the so-called white man. Okay? Also, that word devil goes back to the Latin word diabolos, which means a deceiver. You know? How the hell do you change your, you know, one minute, you know, you got a smile on your face. But, 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 but as soon as the natives turned their backs, you started to frown up. You know, I'm, I'm about to kill this, this fucking wet back. That, that's what you, <laughs> hey, but hey, that, that, that's what he was thinking. That's the fucking devil. He'll literally change his countenance. And all it takes is for you to let your guard down. But yeah, man, I just wanted to go into the true history of Thanksgiving. You know, if you're an Israelite, you 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 better not be celebrating this holiday, man, because you, you you're just a real loser. You're gonna you're gonna celebrate the slaughter of your own people. Come on, man. But with that, I'm gonna say Shalom. It's on to the next one.